We met in Singapore in 2017 over a very famous dating app. I'm sure you know which one I mean. At the time, neither of us thought much of it as we were both leaving the country two days later, so never in a million years did we assume that we could potentially end up dating. Right from the start, we were very open with each other and it felt as if we had known each other for years. In the first hour of meeting, we were already spilling our deepest, darkest secrets. It was weird, but I liked it. At the time, I had no idea if I would see this guy again, but I knew that there was something special about him. Something I could connect with that you don't find with many people. My past relationship had been long distance for the most part and ended badly, so after that I had told myself I would never attempt long distance again. The second year of our relationship was a little rocky and we decided to take a month break to focus on ourselves as both of us were so busy that we barely had time to communicate with each other. However, one month later, we realized that life without each other sucks like a lot. So we decided to give it another go. We traveled the world, got to know each other even more, and as cheesy as this is about to sound, we just kept falling more and more in love each time we saw each other. Now, here's the thing about long distance. It's not easy. There are a lot of ups and downs and sacrifices you must make. Financially, it can also be overwhelming. But somehow, when it's the right person, none of it matters because being with them is a blessing and a wonderful feeling that you you just can't get anywhere else. I was constantly being asked, why don't you live together? When are you moving in together? When, how, where, so many questions. But the reality is that neither of us knew the answers to any of those questions. We knew we wanted it to happen one day, but the crucial part for us was that we wanted it to work and make sense for the both of us. I'm a freelancer, so I can work from pretty much anywhere in the world. So for me, it was easy to move. The reason I didn't do it sooner is because it wasn't the right time or place. We wanted a fresh start somewhere together and not one individual moving and joining someone else's already built and settled life. Nothing wrong with that at all, but it just wasn't what we wanted. Personally, for me, that would have been very difficult and I always would have felt like I'm trying to fit into someone else's life instead of growing and building a fresh new life with each other. We agreed upon Berlin because it made sense. Our initial thoughts were London, Christian could transfer locations at his company and London is already very familiar to me. However, Christian quit his job, joined a startup, the pandemic hit, I left London, and just so much changed. After Christian moved to Berlin with his startup team, the time finally just felt right. I went to visit him for a week and I fell in love with the city. I just knew it was where I'm supposed to be. So we decided on a date, October 8th. That was the day we would move in. So... We're finally living together, obviously, from what you can see. And yeah, it's quite early. This is one thing, I guess, that I've noticed straight away. It's quite hard to get a hold of each other living together because, like, for example, Christian's all day in the office, like, till 9 p.m. sometimes, which is great. Good job. But um, <laughs> when I want to film something or something like that, it's quite difficult to get a hold of him. So it is 8.30, right? 8.30 in the morning. Yes. We got ready super quick to film this video. And we just want to give our first impressions of moving in together after almost five years of long distance and how we feel about it already and yeah just first impressions <laughs> what are your thoughts oh my thoughts to be honest it doesn't feel real at the moment it feels like if you're going to leave in two weeks again <laughs> so yeah it feels so like we, we're staying like in an airbnb and we're exactly. just on a holiday so we really need to get used to it but like uh, it's cool so I really enjoy it in the evening, coming back home, spend some time together, chat properly every evening. Mm -hmm. Usually we have done it like that, that once a week in person or twice a week. But now we can always like keep each other updated straight away when something happens and not like keep it in mind and then like, okay, I'm gonna tell Olivera yeah. in one week and then half of it you forgot at the end, you know? So that's a massive benefit. Yeah, like we tried to keep notes when we were doing long distance of yeah. things that happened during the day and then tell each other at the end of the week, but we both forgot. When you were in Germany, we always spent time together in a flat chair, mm -hmm. in my flat chair. So it was always busy, my flatmates yeah. were there and you kind of had to adjust. <laughs> and I think it's also like a massive change to have the own space 
to own a routine. You don't it's need nice to, to just like be able to just hang, like as in, <laughs> no, <laughs> as yeah. in I always felt like I was dating Christian and his two housemates every time I visited. <laughs> Obviously I got used to it and it was fine and it was really nice of them to let me even stay. But it's nice to just have our own space for once yeah. and it's like yeah. we started fresh, we started together, it's new for both of us. No one's lived here before, no one has like loads of memories in here, yeah. it's like kind of Building it together? Yeah, exactly. How do you feel about my hair everywhere? I mean, that's why we have a, a, a little robot. It's great. Let's see how it continues. Cool to have dinner in the evening together or breakfast in the morning together to start the day or to finish the day mm -hmm. together. We haven't spent a proper weekend together. True. I think there will be lots of cool experiences, yeah. memories and so on coming up in the next months, years, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, and like, I guess people are going to be wondering like, why now and like, why do we choose to, you know... I mean, as you said, it's, uh, I think it makes sense because it's a fresh start in the city. Where you know, everyone also speaks English, just saying. Although I still <laughs> I still have the big hope that you learn German. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit I feel like there's quite a few courses here you can take as well. Yeah. Because like, it's nice when I'm actually going to stay in Germany now for a long time, I can actually force myself to go to classes and also meet people. I feel yeah. like this will help me to make friends because also I'll speak to you guys a little bit later about my personal feel of like moving to a country where I haven't lived. But yeah, I think it'll be nice to like get into the culture and the language because it'll yeah. help me blend in. Yeah. I think we were just both quite stressed though, like, not stressed, you were quite stressed to move in together. The only thing like what made me stressed is because like we started a new business, you know, like it's a startup and when you start a new business, you are like totally focused on this business mm -hmm. the entire day. And as you said, like I stay in the office quite long, so my fear was like that I'm fully all the time just focused on this business. Forget everything around. Usually when it was like this, I could fully focus on this, 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 and then we saw each other and I could focus on you or like on this relationship and now kind of like we have to um, put everything together mm -hmm. in a daily routine and I mean of course like there are many people who are doing it as well so, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> so I think I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that we can manage it but that this was the previous fear yeah, yeah but then I think once like we got the idea in our heads that we're actually doing it we just cracked on and did it excuse me yeah she's like I'm gonna be late but I guess that that's pretty much it but like the apartment is cool the apartment I mean, is cool we managed to get a really nice place that's really big we were aiming for or we wanted to at least have two rooms because for our first time together we were kind of scared to be cramped in one like studio space mm -hmm. we didn't know what it would be like if we would get annoyed with each other or i don't know but mm -hmm. we managed to find like quite a big place for mm -hmm. the location and price that's good i mean it's also very central in berlin it's uh, in a very hip place mm -hmm. where a lot is going on like a lot of cafes restaurants bars and so on for some people it could be two crowded to central yeah because it's literally it's in very the, intense one of the most intense streets mm -hmm. in berlin and like as you said the place is really nice it's like an old building yeah. but very modern from inside i'll probably do like space. a little apartment tour so you guys can actually see the place but, yeah um, just do it in apartments but yeah like it's really nice and it's actually a bit too big even sometimes <laughs> i'm just like hmm. i mean yeah it's I, nice it's i nice. prefer it yeah definitely recommend finding something where you can have at least two rooms if you yeah. move in with each other I mean, it was not like that we were aiming for a big place. No, you know? it was we wanted like, like, it was just lucky that we got some. Yeah, we just wanted a separate bedroom, that was it. Yeah. And we managed to get like a separate everything, even like a dining room. Yeah. <laughs> So I was, I was lucky, yeah. first place ever. So far so good, but obviously no one can know the future and we don't know what's gonna happen, but we're just gonna stay positive like we always have. So and is it raining outside? No, someone's taking a shower upstairs. <sighs> Why? Cycle. <laughs> anyway, that is pretty much it. If you are about to move in with your long distance partner or you know it's on your mind, I really suggest that you address it. I mean, we've been together almost five years, so for us, I just felt like it was time already to like give it a go. Also, Berlin just felt like the perfect place. So, yeah. anyway, go to work. Yeah, see you much more time in the future. See you much okay. more time. Oh, yeah. Say in German. Wir sehen uns jetzt des Öfteren, ja, dadurch, dass wir zusammen wohnen. Ja, sehr gut. <lacht> well, how's it Chat correctly then? I'll see you more often. I'll see you, I don't know. I see you more. Much more is not. Okay, sorry. I see you more often. I'll see you more often. I'll see you like Yeah, five. you will actually. You'll be five, in five, five years together with her. My English is still like... <laughs> Bye, ciao. <laughs>